right off the bat, on, in Mass Effect 3, you're going to notice how much more fluid the combat controls are. Shepard has a whole new level of mobility. You're going to be getting in and out of cover a lot more smoothly. You'll be doing things like SWAT turns, combat rolls. You're going to be able to pull guys over cover. You're going to be able to do a lot more melee. We're really building back in the kind of experience people wanted more of from, from uh, Mass Effect 1, where you're able to make a lot of choices about how you progress your character and how you customize. We're also introducing a new weapon, and it's called the Omniblade. You have this Omni tool normally in Mass Effect 1 and 2. Now in Mass Effect 3, that Omni tool is now a weapon. It's kind of a hologram version of a switchblade that Shepard's able to use for really brutal up-close melee attacks. When you're up close and personal, nothing hurts like a big hologram to the face. We're going to be focusing on showing um, you know, a, a mix of combat and a mix of the story elements uh, and the improvements we've made at storytelling at E3 this year. Reports are coming in from other major cities. It's a well-coordinated attack. So Mass Effect 3 will open up with Earth actually being invaded by the Reapers. And we want to really portray the, the awesomeness of that event. So we're building a, a story that's really wrapped around the concept of the entire Mass Effect universe at war and letting you make decisions about how all of that stuff comes to an end. Mass Effect 3 really is the epic ending of the trilogy and that it's really there to finish the Mass Effect story. There won't be an Earth left to save.